Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and today's brief video is more of a book review, a kind of recommendation on some copies of information and books that I think it's very important for you to have physical hard copies on at your house, your homestead, your prep, wherever, so let's get after it. Now, if you've seen any of my videos, uh, then you know that I believe it's very important to be an informed person in whatever aspect of life you choose. If you're, if you're uh, a homesteader, then you need to know as much information about your animals and your garden and all of those things that are homestead related so that you can be more effective. Or if you're a prepper, that you have all of those skills mastered and you use them on a continual basis. Um, and, and there's a reason for that because when it comes time that you need to use those skills, you have to be proficient at them. Now, here's another aspect of what we do as homesteaders, preppers, however you wanna categorize us and label us or, or whatever, but the bottom line is this, without the information, the know-how, to get those skills done, to learn those skills, to learn how to do that gardening, to learn whatever it is that interests you, then you, you can't ever be expected to do a good job at it. Well, how do we learn those skills? Well, the internet is an excellent source. However, if you've seen my videos, what happens if the power's out? or what happens if it's a grid down situation, or what happens if you are on the wrong end of the information, and why that, what I mean is online, people can manipulate data. Wikipedia is a living document. Well, and you know, they say that history is written by those who won. Well, that may not necessarily mean they were right or wrong. So it's very important for you to have the important documents, books, history, in whatever you're interested in, uh, in physical form. And so I wanted to do some quick reviews on books that I feel are very, very important to have on hand. Now, keep in mind, I'm not gonna go down the religious path, even though that is very, very important to me. The Bible is the most important book in my life and my family's life. So the Bible is very important to us, but that is not going to be the focus of these videos and I, I'll do one today and it's gonna be brief uh, but then you know every so often I'll give you a few new recommendations to keep your library fresh or your set of uh, thought processes so the first one that I'm gonna to recommend today is mini farming uh, self-sufficiency on a quarter acre now this book is so awesome because it, it takes just little bits and pieces of so doggone many topics that it will open your mind up to a bunch of stuff that you either do or have thought of doing or may want to do. Now keep in mind, it is by no means the end all, you know, Bible standard for the entire topic. That is not it. They basically give you a few pages on several, several things that get you started. They whet your appetite and they make you think, how or why you may want to get into, say, chickens. And they talk about how you would butcher a chicken, and they talk about how to feed them. You know, they don't, they don't give you all the 411 on everything, but it's enough to get you going and get you started and in looking into uh, in areas of interest that you may not have considered before. All right, second up on the list is Backyard Medicine. Harvest and make your own herbal remedies. This book, could really come in handy in a pinch. Let's say that you can't get to the doctor for whatever reason. Let's say that you don't wanna to go to the doctor for whatever reason. Let's say you prefer healthy healing. Well, that's cool. This book basically goes through tons and tons of ailments and plants and how they're useful and how you can use them, what you can use them for, uh, warnings on what not to do, what not to use them for. And it, it's really great. It goes through several, several hundred. I mean, uh, it's, it's at least got 180, maybe 200 different plants and how to use them for your health. This I highly recommend because you never know when you're gonna need it. You never know when you might not have access to healthcare, hmm? seems like that's getting a little dicey these days. Now next up is not a book, but it's a publication, it's a magazine, Hobby Farms. If you don't have Hobby Farms, I suggest you figure out a way to scrimp and save to get a subscription to this. 
every month my wife and I literally have like WWF World War III wrestling match when it comes to the to the <laughs> to the mailbox because we're both just want to sit down and devour it. I mean, I very rarely enjoy a magazine pretty much at all anymore because they just don't apply for my, my lifestyle and our family's lifestyle. This one does. It's awesome. I even read the uh, ads in the back. So, hey, hobby farm people, we read the we read the ads. So, marketing guys, excellent magazine. It's always full of everything from animals to gardening, ah, everything, composting, how to different trellis ideas. You know, it's really, really, really well thought out, and it's a great read. And you could get it to your door. So, this is really something you should consider. And for this installment of what you should pick up to get hard copies of, this one's kind of a little more fun, not as serious. Well, it is actually just as much serious, but that is Poor Richard's Almanac by Benjamin Franklin. I'll tell you what, this is basically his writings, all of his wit and wisdom, and some of this stuff is so painfully amazing that it's just, it's so common sense, but you, you forget about it. We live in this modern world. One of my favorite quotes, necessity never made a good bargain. You may give a man an office, but you cannot give him discretion. Hmm. Speak little, do much. This one's awesome. Tis a well-spent penny that saves a goat. Three may keep a secret if two are dead. Here's another good one. A brother may not be a friend, but a friend will always be a brother. So there you have it. I, I, I highly stress that whatever is your interest, that you get hard physical copies of the books, the data, the history that are important to you. Now, um, this is going to be the first, well, was the first of probably, you know, a several set of videos, not, not right away, but in the future as, as things stick out in my mind that I feel like are important to share, then I'm going to share them. But check those books out for yourself, or at least just get in the process of thinking how or uh, what is important to you that you may want to physically have on hand and not in just a digital form that could be manipulated, changed online, or just blip gone if you don't have electricity. So there you have it. Uh, that's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Let people know. It really honestly does help us out. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.